Hello. I'm not very good. And this is Tekken 3. Now, Tekken 3 may be the ultimate example of why I'm referring to myself as not very good. Because if there's one thing I'm not very good at, it's fighting games. Now I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we've all been at the arcade when we were young. Speaking of which, arcade mode. In arcade mode, we're going to try and stick to it. For this, for this attempt, we are going to try and stick to the canon arcade and going with Jin. Because his ending is the only canon ending in the series. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure we've all had those days where we go to the arcade and know my arcade was in the bowling alley. And uh, why Nina first? <laughs> oh, I always lose against Nina. Oh, yeah, take that. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, yeah, those kicks, those kicks are gonna get me. Yeah, alright. Like I said, okay. I'm sure we've all played Street Fighter in an arcade, Street Fighter 2 in the arcade. But, it doesn't mean any of us were any good at it. So yeah, fighting games have always been a real big weakness for me. I never played them. I played Injustice, and even that, like... I'm sure Johnny knows. Injustice, unless I'm playing against the computer on easy mode, I can get through it. Again, doesn't mean I'm good at it. Also, that's the first time I've ever beat Nina, even though it was just a real slop fast. Ugh. Oh, God, you. Ugh. No. <laughs> where, where was I at? When I was talking about... Oh, Street Fighter, right. We all played Street Fighter. I don't think I've ever won a game of Street Fighter in my life. But I really fell into Tekken recently because two main things. One, as you've noticed, there's 3D movement, you're actually like in an area fighting somebody instead of just... <laughs> you're in an actual 3D area, instead of just on a plane, on a flat 2D screen. And so that's one level of depth that I found interesting. But then I found out how the buttons work. Because like I say, Street Fighter is the go-to example, because that's the, that's the fighting game that everybody loves. <clears throat> but the way Street Fighter works is that you have a six button layout. You've got light, medium, and heavy for your punches and for your kicks. So, yeah, six up top, six down bottom. Oh, I keep trying for those grabs and I'm not hitting on anything. Haha! <laughs> Pulled that one out. So that's my new gym technique. Roll forward and drill them in the face with punches. Yeah, King. King's my main. I keep jumping. I don't think I... I'm not used to this stick. I'm not making up excuses. I... I've been <laughs> I've been playing Tekken 3D on the 2DS, and so I've gotten used to playing that. I'm currently using a I'm sure whether you've seen them online or not, this company called Hyperkin started putting out a retro style Xbox One controllers. 
and their mental look, they're much, very much so Xbox controllers that are made to be SNES controllers, Super Nintendo controllers, but I'm basically playing this as if it were a fight stick, and that was the whole purpose of getting it. But yeah, the six button style of Street Fighter, like it makes sense, especially when you're working on that 2D plane and you can only, you have a limited movement. But when I found out A, that Tekken has 3D movement, and B, oh, not Eddie, but B, that the, it, it's only four buttons, and obviously that threw me off at first because I was thinking Street Fighter. But then, as soon as I heard it was, you, your one button is your left hand, one button is your right hand, like left hand, one hand, there's the other hand, left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg, and I was like, oh, you mean like the human body? Oh, I can move, a or move around like in real life? It just made total sense, and so I was like, I have to try this game. So. I tried Tekken 3, and I got destroyed. I, I went with Jim first, like I am now, and I got destroyed, and I was like, okay, I don't understand, how do I block? How do I do this? That's the biggest thing with Tekken, i found, is when you start playing, your first question is, how do I block? But then I started going online, I started looking into it, started doing my research, looked into it. There's, there's a guy online, if if this game interests you at all, look up Avoid the Puddle, because that dude, he's really good at teaching the basics and explaining how the game works and why everything you're doing is wrong. The fact that your base stance is your block, so if you do nothing, in most cases you're going to block. <sighs> Round one, fight! <laughs> If you've never played Tekken, I'm sure you can figure out who martial law is supposed to be. Because, obviously, fighter games like to make reference characters. Like how Guile is supposed to be Strahan, Jojo... But I've really gotten into this. I haven't gotten good. But I've really gotten into Tekken. Like, and then I got into the lore... Oh, Jin has that. I thought only Kazuya had that. Oh, good. Okay, well. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Deep breaths. Remember your breathing. I hope if I put my hands on the controller. Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, let's give it one more try. One more try. All the marbles. See that? I didn't touch any buttons when I blocked. Now, obviously, it's not from a block. You're not going to block everything. Ugh. <laughs> And the second you try something, you're gonna get hit, especially against Law. Law is one of the fastest characters in the game. Can you figure out why? Yeah, it's all. If you haven't figured it out by now, Bruce Lee, obviously. And so he's one of the fastest characters in the game. It's really hard to get past anything. It's really hard to do anything because he's just. He's, he's got those fists of fury. Ah, oh, he missed the knee. No, 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 no. <sighs> no, 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 no. Alright. Tekken is also one of those games where if you, once you find your character, uh, once you find your character, the one you main, you're probably not going to be able to play anybody else. I know King has really been the character for me. That luchador, that luchador big wrestler style is really good. 
And also gets me pumped up when he just walks onto the screen and like does the belt motion and like, yeah, give me that belt. <sighs> this has been Tekken 3. I've just proved that I'm not very good. Thank you for joining me. I have a little clip of Huarong flexing his pecs.